Hello everyone. There will not be a normal JHS episode this week because I want to share some personal feelings and the feelings of JHS Pedals as a company. The events of the last several weeks have brought out emotions in me that I can't fully begin to describe to you. I have felt anger, confusion, and grief as I try to navigate my thoughts and my heart through this devastating time. I cannot and I will not forget the sadness, the shock, and the anger I felt as I watched a father and son gun down and murder Ahmad Arbery while he was jogging peacefully through a neighborhood. I will not forget the heartbreak and complete disbelief that I experienced as I watched George Floyd lying face down on the ground, begging for his life, crying out that he could not breathe. These kinds of events have become familiar in America and even common and that is not okay. I wanted to speak out much sooner than this, but honestly, I wasn't ready. I needed time to be quiet, to listen, and to learn from the black community. I needed to learn how I can change myself and be part of the change in those around me. Many of you see me as an educator or some type of voice in this amazing community that we all share. But I want you to know that I want to always first be a student. I have felt great pressure to say something on behalf of myself and JHS, but in all honesty, I didn't know what to say. As I've tried to process all that I think and feel, one thing is obvious to me. I am a white man. For this reason, I have lived my life with privileges that a black man simply has not had the opportunity to experience. In the same vein, I simply have not had to navigate the world with the same caution as a black man. I understand now more than ever that I cannot comprehend the struggles, the fears, and the hurt of the black community. I know that I will never face the hellish situations and the impossible choices that are commonplace to so many black families. I will never have to teach my own children how to not look suspicious, why they can't be in a certain part of town, or why they will always have to prove themselves to be a credit to their race. Even if I fear for the lives of my children, it will never be because of the color of their skin. My heart is completely broken over the division of race in our country and the broken systems that we possess. Most of all, my heart breaks over the reality that so many people, myself included, have stayed silent for so long. My entire life has been filled with moments, big and small, where I chose to accept and ignore the injustices that I saw towards the black community. I admit that I have been part of the problem. I did not want to admit that this reality is real, horrific, and heartbreaking. I'm not a racist, but by not speaking out and staying silent when I see injustice, I have participated in racism. And for that, I am deeply sorry. I do not want to live that way. For years, I have actively chosen to look away, to pretend that everything will be okay, and for that, I'm sorry. For so many people like myself, those who do not know what to say, silence has been our default. But silence in itself is the most damaging message I could ever send. At JHS, we're opening up discussion among our employees on how we can impact the world around us. We want to see our country and our hometown of Kansas City be better. We want to see equality and opportunity be the new normal in the black community. As of today and through the remainder of 2020, JHS Pedals is donating a percentage of profit from every pedal sold to local Kansas City organizations who are fighting the fight against racism and helping bring change where it is needed most. We're going to be giving to organizations like GIFT, Generating Income for Tomorrow, and the Black Archives of Mid-America in Kansas City. 
I know that this is just the beginning. There is still so much more that we need to learn and understand to be better allies for the black community. But for now, this is our start. Please join us and take time to reflect on what you can do for the black community in your city. In the description below, there are links and there is a YouTube playlist that our staff and employees have put together. It's a collection of resources that have impacted us personally, and we wanna share those with you to hopefully spark and ignite a passion in you to be a change in your own community. Have a great day.